Hi everybody, I am Juan Pablo Sabines and I'm going to provide portfolio feedback uh, based on the RISE model to one of my peers, Eric Alvarez. Here we can see his website. I noticed that it's the same one that he's been using to deliver his assignments, the one that we had to do a few classes ago, a few months ago, and I actually, reflecting on that, I actually thought of doing that uh, because I, al I already had one but it was on WordPress and I didn't like the layout uh, overall and I didn't know how to handle it pretty much so I didn't do it but Eric did and it clearly shows that he wants to stick with it uh, after his career uh, here in the home page I like the layout it's just simple it's black and green and shades of green he even added a logo which is nice I'd like to know more about Chuck and Roll Productions because if you click on it, nothing happens. Uh, in the homepage, he only has the Portfolio 2 video, which uh, I actually did the same thing, which is a nice introduction because it it's a good way to show what you what you are and what you want to do. That's all there is in the homepage. I noticed that the social media links work perfectly. They lead you to his Facebook uh, page, his Instagram account. Here we can see his uh, YouTube account. And they work good, so that's nice. If you click on the logo, I notice that it takes you to the blog, which is strange, but actually it's the one that has more information. We can see the overall layout is it's good it sticks with the same colors shades of gray of green and black and I like how you can see the about me page right next to the blog post that is nice you can see uh, what he does pretty quickly uh, before clicking in the actually about me page I would suggest to take a look at uh, this that I found it's a little detail, but uh, it it always happens that we miss something. Uh, I just would like you to notice that. Here we can see more of his blog post. I like how he put uh, recent posts and more on the side of the blog post. I missed that. That is a nice feature. I like how you can click on the read more page and they stack pretty good. You can quickly take a look at all of his recent and past posts. I like, uh, this is another one of his posts, I like uh, how he showed an image of inside the blog post in here, you can see it, that is a nice look and it really invites you to look further into that. Uh, on the works page there's, there are two things, uh, videos and music, you can find again the portfolio 2 video and you can find this video portrait, both are nice jobs, uh, they are uh, school jobs but uh, they talk well about his skills uh, on video making and then at the bottom there's this music and I would like to ask uh, would like to know more about it is there a band? if so are there any more songs? are you on it? are you not anymore on it? Uh, where can we find more songs? Uh, that is your actual job and I know that you want to take a different path but it's and it's actually pretty good if you showed us uh, what you have done in the past even though that's not the career you want to follow and then we have his story I noticed that he used a third person maybe someone else wrote it or he did if someone else wrote it uh, maybe he can put the name of the person that actually did or uh, talk in first person any of the two would be a, a better outcome but the the story is nice it's entertaining it's attractive and in the end just the contact me page just, it's not too fancy doesn't need to be and that's overall my feedback for Eric thank you